Welcome to The Communicator. My name is Jeff Hosteller, and always with me is Mr. Chris Hartley. Trusty sidekick. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about analog and IP cameras, uh, big for surveillance uh, within residential or uh, business security. And Chris, I know that's one of the big things a lot of people have a tendency to overlook uh, as far as cameras are concerned. Uh, they pay attention to how they're going to be getting their recordings, uh, but when it comes to actually seeing what has been recorded, they're most of the time disappointed because of the resolution. That's so. true. That's true. The big difference in um, IP cameras versus analog is the ability for resolution. Um, analogs work off something called TVL. It's TV lines, um, and it's how many lines is actually on screen for when it records the image. Um, they can range from uh, 420 up to 700 TVL. Um, for a benchmark, 600 TVL equals uh, 720 by 575 image. Um, IP, on the other hand, goes a lot higher, uh, especially um, megapixel cameras. On the low end, you're going to get about a 1.3 megapixel, be about your lowest benchmark that you're going to work with, and it's still a ton bigger than the best quality you're going to get out of analog. Um, if you go on up to a 3 megapixel camera, the resolution then changes to 2048 by 1536. You can see how much bigger quality image that is to work with. Um, if you round up to 5 megapixel, then it gets a huge, and you're talking over um, 2,500 and 1,900 pixels. So uh, that's important for if you want to zoom in, if you need detailed information, if you need a quality image for evidence retrieval, uh, IP camera is really the way to go. Well, I know that with a lot of people that are in some retail establishments, when they see cameras with DVRs, a package deal, uh, it looks great when it's in the store, um, but we won't go into detail of where you might find them. But what kind of resolution is that, just to kind of give people an idea of those kinds of things? Yeah, usually those are probably the 420 range. You're talking about the, four, the uh, 420 TVLs, that's what you're getting with those uh, if you buy that package. And that's why I, people are disappointed because uh, they get that, they think they're going to be able to read a license plate or something like that, and it's just not possible because the image quality isn't that good. Uh, but there, there is a use for those cameras because, um, like ATM cameras, a lot of them are that resolution because the shot is taken within three feet. It's fine for that. Uh, so if you're using a very short range, you know you're going to get your image in that, that, that may be perfectly suitable for what you're doing with it. Um, but always remember, you can't go, you can go down in resolution from an image, but you can't go up. So if you take a bad image, you just can't work with that. So in, in hallways uh, or outside that, that really fits, especially if you're trying to get image for vehicles, for uh, uh, facial features for people, uh, of course, when you get into the higher megapixels, when you want things like reading license plates or what have you, absolutely. inside they can go a little less on the resolution because how close it actually is. Is that sure. what you're saying? Absolutely. Okay. So the big thing there is that when you're looking into some cameras, uh, check the higher resolution for maybe outdoors or things you've got to get long shots mm -hmm. for, or uh, smaller, or less resolution for you know hallways, that type of thing. That's where you might be able to save some money. Are there any other advantages that come with? Well, uh, one advantage is that, that in IP world you don't have to worry about compression uh, because it's already IP based, so it's going to keep it and store it uh, at what, however setting that you've already got it. And analog has to, if you're using an IP DVR, which everybody's kind of transitioning to, um, the analog camera has to use compression to get it there and then decompress it to restore it. So you're going to have a, a little bit of problem there. Um, just if you're mixing your network, putting it, in, you just keep that in mind if you're using IP and analog in the same network. Um, it's cleaner to go IP all the way or analog all the way depending on what your solution is. Would you say that it actually would be advantageous for somebody to uh, consult with a security company about how they would lay out cameras, that type of oh, thing? Oh, absolutely, because an another uh, very important facet is the lenses. Because you've got to make sure if you're going to cover a specific area, what lens do you have? Do you have a wide angle lens? Do you have a short, uh, short lens for what you need to do? The same camera may be perfectly suitable for two applications, but with just with a different lens. So um, you can check your camera placement. If you're mounting one up on the side of the building, how cl how clear is your image of where you want to shoot, and that the how wide is that area, and the lens will make all the difference. And and uh, most professionals can they have a system that they can figure out what that needs to be. Well, one of the things that we're actually going to do is uh, place it into the into this uh, segment right here is a couple of pictures based upon the resolution. So that's one thing that hopefully you know people have a chance to take a look at. But uh, a lot of people they fall into the trap that they don't realize how bad the picture actually is until they go back to retrieve that information. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the main thing is to con consult with someone that actually has different style of cameras. You can see the output 
and you'll have the ability to make an informed decision regarding that. And then you'll be able to weigh costs depending upon uh, the increase in the resolution. That's really the big Absolutely. thing. So they're not doing any more. You don't see a lot of black and white anymore. That was one of the big things that you have, stationary black and white. Those used to be the real, the cheap ones. But now, what are they going to? Are they just pretty much color? And this a matter of stationary, pan tilt, zoom, whatever it may be? Yeah, normally you get that. Um, you'll do stationary. is probably the predominant camera used. You will get black and white when it's, if you've got um, infrared or night vision cameras, you'll get that in black and white. But with today's technology, it looks... It converts the image is black and white, but the, but the quality is like you're looking at day, daylight, and so that's just how it does its conversion. But the quality is really good. All right, Chris. Well, is there anything else that you want to mention regarding cameras? Um, one last thing. The uh, the other benefit is uh, power allocation because with analog you have to make sure you get power to the camera uh, along with the data channel cabling. So um, with IP you can power it from the nearest hub within 300 feet of it. So when you pull your data connection to it, you can power the camera also. All right. Well, uh, certainly you want to uh, do your homework, talk with a security company uh, that specializes in cameras, and then have an opportunity to get informed decisions so when you're placing out your cameras, you get the right resolution for the right place. So, Chris, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.